I have some things to do this morning, but before I do, I'm going to get started with this uh, Rose McGowan program. Because Rose McGowan actually was involved with the Me Too movement and did actually say something that started uh, um, a wave of actual change in the entertainment business. So <clears throat> it makes me think something's possible to do, but what's possible to do? Because even if something's going on, doing anything on the web talking about the entertainment business is still just a drop in the bucket against the general inertia of all the garbage that's already swirling around out there. However, Rose makes all these, made, made an album about cosmic transformation and she seems to be talking about these spiritual values. So she is influencing the world toward these other spiritual values and she's a Virgo. So I have issues with the astrological sign Virgo that I want to find out about. Um, and so I'm doing some alchemy with the sign of Virgo anyway. So Rose enters into the picture that way. And uh, Rose being the symbol of desire, certainly I desire to understand Rose, to possess Rose in one way or another. And um, then there's McGowan. McGowan means son of a blacksmith. And the blacksmith is the symbol of technology. For years I've been using the sword and stone as a symbol. The sword representing astral power, leadership, the anvil through which Merlin thrust the sword into the stone is technology and uh, the stone being the earth. So the son of the blacksmith is the creator of the technological link and certainly by being revolutionary, Rose has created a link between me and technology. I see her on the web and I say, okay, here's somebody who did something and if I could understand this process, I could get to the bottom of it and maybe do something myself. So that's literally true, but then comes the issue if I go ahead and create a fan site, then I'm subject to the same smarmy BS of all the web trolls and morons who surf the web and seeking to make snotty comments about nothing, you know. So I don't know what would happen if I tried to do something, so I'm going to find out. So here's a little experiment talking about Rose and the alchemical symbolism of the name Rose McGowan, son of the blacksmith. I know I have a story in my head about the son of a blacksmith I made up years ago based on some Magic the Gathering cards. And, um, hmm, okay, well, so I've got things to do today and that's run out, but I, I wanted to see, because I thought up the idea, I posted on Facebook, hey, I'll start a fan page for Rose McGowan to see what is actually spiritually true to post about a celebrity, to cut through the economic garbage of American celebrity to what might actually be psychically pure or real. And then the first thing that happened was I got hit by this dark wave, the filth, the garbage of the uh, average member of the entertainment business, you know, all their terrible desires, their pointless lives, their, their wasted consciousness, and the filth that they roll in like pigs which I don't want to be involved in, but I do want to get something done. So once again, we have to engage in some alchemy. We have to purify. We have to cast Rose into the Athenor. Not to, uh, not that Rose McGowan, the actress, needs to be purified, but we have to understand, you know, what, what is that spark? We see the image of someone on the web who has, quote, done something, unquote. Uh, what does it mean in, well, my psychic field. Because Rose is a Virgo, mutable earth, she, and because I've thought so much about Virgo, uh, there's an alignment there. I noticed some other things. Uh, somebody was pointing out her Sagittarian planets are in alignment with the galactic center, which is fascinating. I have a planet uh, in alignment with Antares, which is very near galactic center in the same sign, Sagittarius. So those are the kinds of things I'm going to explore on my alchemical project of uh, analyzing the media presence of Rose McGowan by alchemical standards.